Martin Lappin here for Alternative Heating Solutions. From looking at the Facebook groups, there seems to be a little confusion about cold depth. And here you can see, and it's burnt down just a touch, but a while ago, you couldn't see the bottom of the panels. Long as you're not getting a bunch of ash under the panels, it's really not a thing that's too many coals. The issue arises when you let the coals and the ash in them build up and you block the bottom of the panels off. And you can see that panel in the middle, there is some warpage. That might get a little worse if your coal bed's always deep, but it affects the operation of the stove none whatsoever. If it really bothers you when you do the cleaning in the spring, you can lay them down on something flat and beat, them, beat the uh, warp part out. Um, personally, I wouldn't do it. When something's warped and you try to flatten it for hammer, you tend to make the panel grow. If the panel grows too much, and you're gonna have a heck of a time getting them back in. Even with as many coals as we had, still stick to the tried and true moving away from the slot, put a split over it, break them back in. And I prefer the trusty old uh, coal stoker poker. And all I do with that is I go around the outside, under the panels, make sure the ash is loose. You should never have to remove ash or coals from the top chamber during the burn season. If you burn some really trashy wood, maybe. As long as you keep it stirred and loose, it's turbulent enough in there. When it is burning, it'll carry the ashes into the bottom where you burn and clean it This is Martin Lapper with Alternative Heating Solutions. Women don't find you handsome, they say they can find you handy.